Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be installing an alarm on my scooter. By no means is this something that you're gonna rely on 100%. So it looks like here's the alarm right here and the remote control, some instructions. The reason I got this alarm was because you can attach this one to the stem. Um, there's other ones on Amazon, but you have to zip tie those. And to me, that's just very cheap. And it doesn't, I don't think it looks as good as if it were to be clamped on your scooter. I think it provides a better protection than just some um, zip ties. Here's the remote. And here is the alarm. The original gasket piece that came with it was too wide. So this piece that came with it is too wide. It won't wrap around my bar. So I'm gonna take this off and I'm just gonna have the rubber, the rubber pieces in here so it doesn't scratch up my, my, my uh, stem. All right, so just like that. Okay guys, so this rubber piece, two of these put together are still too much. So I'm gonna take one off. Now this is for my Apollo Pro. It might be different for your scooter. My, your scooter might work perfectly fine. You're gonna tie it on the stem, the alarm. You don't wanna over tighten this cause then you'll break the bracket or you could damage something. So just tighten it until it's secure so it doesn't move and that's as far as you need to go. So this is how it looks installed. I was, gonna, I was thinking about either leaving it there or moving it down there, but I think it has a much cleaner look right here and it, it looks kind of hidden. It doesn't look so out there, you know, it doesn't look out of place. This kind of blends in with all this stuff going on over here. And then plus what I like about it is that this is attached by a bracket. So I don't have to worry about somebody coming and clipping the zip ties. So this first button is to arm the alarm. Then the next one's to unlock it. Then the lightning one is to uh, switch your tones. And then this one is to ring the bell. So if you're, if you're, if you don't remember where you left your scooter or whatever, you can just press this button and it'll, you'll be able to find your scooter wherever you left it. Um, and then this is just to change the, the, the alarm sounds and then to unlock it. Uh, so we'll go through the different alarm sounds. So I'll, I'll leave it on that one because that one is a little bit louder. Okay, so once we arm this, it should be one more time. Now it's locked. So if you have your scooter at a restaurant or you have it locked up or whatever, and somebody comes and just bumps into it, you see, it gives off in a warning signal to step away. And if they keep messing with it, it'll eventually set the alarm off. So here we go again. See? Now this isn't meant to 100% rely on, but this is great for if you have to quickly use the restroom or if you have to, um, <clears throat> if you're at a restaurant and you're sitting outside, you can park it and lock it. And um, I would definitely recommend you lock your scooter up as well at the same time and arm this device. So if, any com if anybody comes and starts messing with the chain, it's going to set off the alarm and you are gonna be notified. So definitely for $15, I definitely recommend this. Stay away from the ones that use zip ties. I definitely do not recommend those because you can just come and clip those. Uh, this one's a little bit better because it has a, an actual mount and you screw it in so it's actually tight. This one is a little bit harder uh, to rip off, like I said, because it's still attached by screws onto the mounting plate. And if you look at this, you're never gonna know that this is an alarm. You will never, you would think this is a horn. I am gonna leave the link down in the description where you can buy this. And again, guys, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. My name is Edgar. See you on the next video.